In this example, we want to approximate the following definite integral with an error less than 0 0.01. Okay. So to do this, uh, notice that in our integral, we have the function e to the minus x squared. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the, uh, the power series for e to the x. Okay. And then rewrite e to the, using this, we can rewrite e to the minus x squared in terms of a series. And then we're going to take the integral of that, evaluate from 0 to 1, and then from there we'll have to uh, determine how many, we'll have to find out how many terms we need uh, for our summation. Okay. All right, so, so using the power series, power series for e to the x, we're going to, right, we're going to have, okay, from e to the minus x squared. So we need to find the series for this. Okay. So we're going to have, we're going to replace x with minus x squared. Okay, so that's going to give us minus x squared to the n, all divided by n factorial. So this is, this is the same as, okay, we can rewrite this as minus 1 to the n times x to the 2n. So I can go ahead and pull out the minus 1 to the n, okay, and then we have x to the 2n, okay, all right, so now uh, we can go ahead and do the integral, so we have the integral from 0 to 1 of e to the minus x squared, okay, so we're going to take the integral from 0 to 1 of the series Okay, for e to the minus x squared. Okay. Okay, so we're going to integrate this with respect to x. Okay. So this is going to give us the summation from 0 to infinity of minus 1 to the n times x to the 2n plus 1, so using the power rule for integration. And then we have n factorial times 2n plus 1. Okay. And then we're going to evaluate this from 0 to 1. Okay, so that's going to give us plugging in 1 for x. Okay, that's going to give us uh, minus 1 to the n all divided by n factorial times 2n plus 1. Okay. And then plugging in 0 for x will give us 0. Okay. So this is the, uh, the series that will generate the solution. So we need to, from here we need to know, uh, we need to determine the uh, number of terms, okay, and uh, we are given that the error, we want the error to be less than 0.01, okay, so this is, so the series that we have now, okay, this is an alternating series, okay, okay, so, right, so we need to find, okay, the number of terms okay, needed for for our desired of accuracy for our desired accuracy. Okay, in this case, right, our error. We want our error to be less than 0 0.01, okay? So we have alternating series, okay? So that means we can use the, uh, the nth plus one term and bound that with 0 0.01, okay? Okay, so the nth plus one term is going to be 1 over 
n plus 1 factorial. Okay, divided, or I'm sorry, yeah, 1 over n plus 1 factorial times 2n plus 3. Okay, so not 2n plus 2 because we're, we want the nth plus 1. So we replace, okay, so we're replacing the n with n plus 1. Okay, so, so what I mean is, okay, we have 2 and then times n plus 1 plus 1. So that gives us 2n plus 3, okay? Okay, so now, all right, so we want to find, right, we want to find n such that this is less than, uh, such that this is less than 0 0.01, okay? Okay, so we can use the calculator on this, okay. All right, so this is going to give us n bigger or equal to 3, okay. So that means we need at least four terms because we're starting from 0 for the sum, from the series. So, all right, so up to 0, 1, 2, 3, okay. All right, so then, okay, so going back up here, okay, all right. So if we're going to take this series and we're going to go from 0 to 3, okay? All right, so integral, okay? Okay, so for this integral we have, okay, so 0 to 3 minus 1 to the n divided by n factorial times 2n plus 1. All right, so this is going to give us approximately uh, 0 0.74. And let's assume that we uh, round to four decimal places. So 7429. Okay. All right. So that means we okay. What this right? This means that the right the integral. So therefore, the integral from zero to one of e to the minus x squared is approximately zero point seven four two nine. Okay. Okay, so that's right, that's our solution. So we start by um, using the power series for e to the x, which has a uh, interval convergence for all x. Okay, so we took that and rewrote the series for e to the minus x squared, uh, integrated the expression, evaluate from zero to one, and then used the uh, or because this is an alternating series, then we uh, we could bound the int plus one term. And then that tells us how many terms we need for our summation, okay? And we get the result that we need, okay?